Fuck the Tang Gang. Baby dolls. You're just betting on megaphones. You know that, right? So Tang Gang make a lot of noise in Pulse Chain. You know who else makes a lot of noise? p a Tropa Ecosystem. You know who else makes a lot of noise? The Nine Inch guys. They make a lot of noise, man. The Alien Coin guys are making a lot of noise now. So you're betting on megaphones. And I know everyone, once you get attacked by a rival, everyone really takes it personally and it becomes tribal. And when I say that, I don't, I don't go out there and say, hey, let's be friends. Let's hold hands. No, don't do that. Like you want to be competing for mind share. You're, every community in Pulse Chain is basically preparing themselves for when the big bridgening comes, right? If everyone comes in, billions of dollars rotating, that's what, that's what they're practicing for. So you don't want everybody to hold hands now because you're going to get competition coming out. You're going to have to defeat them for the mind share. And we live in an attention economy, man. I've literally made a video, friends, here called an attention economy for you. And it's right here. Look at this. Crypto bull market secret. We live in an attention economy. It's a really good video. And I go through, I'll just show you, man, um, all the hock tour girls, uh, the, the things about memes and the ideas that live. And it's got nothing to do with profitability, man. Aave doesn't make all the biggest gains in crypto, does it? Or make a DAO. Make a DAO has round trip eight years of gains, bro. You know what I mean? One of the most profitable things in crypto. These things that earn fees and revenue, they aren't the things that get everybody's attention. We live in an attention economy. So that's why, friends, I said to you, yeah, fuck the Tang Gang. Like, just, it, it's, in, you got to think about it from the perspective of, okay, when Tang Gang says something about uh, uh, you, or these other influencers, I know 99% of us don't think like that, but we're I'm just talking to the 1% of people there. When they get attacked, they get this hatred in their heart. And I get it, man. It's really hard to rise above it. But that's why not everybody's born to be a leader, man. You know, politicians have no soul. <laughs> They're just an empty shell. They don't care what people say. But you have to rise above this stuff. Are you here to be right or are you here to make money? If you're here to be right, you're not going to win, man. Because what you end up finding out is everybody thinks they're right. Everyone. And even when you find that one scenario when they're wrong, they're not going to think they're wrong. They won't. They'll just continue existing in the world where they're right all the time. Okay, um, even look at, for example, look at Richard Hart stuff. Does Richard Hart come out and say, I called the top, but I got a lot of other things wrong. He said that like in this one little tweet. He went back to even saying, I'm right, I'm going to win, we're the greatest. And that's what, that's what you want, man. See, everybody wants Richard Hart to, to basically capitulate and say, you're, admit you're a failure and you're wrong and your theory is wrong and Hex isn't a better Bitcoin. They want him to do that. But you holding in the ecosystem, you don't want him to do that, okay? So that's why, friends, I joke saying, yeah, fuck the Tang Gang. That's what everyone wants to say. Okay, yeah, but what happens after that point? You got to think, if you're holding their coins, don't you want a loud megaphone? Yeah, they're loud as hell. It doesn't even matter if they're right. Every coin community who sticks together is loud. It's about the megaphone, man. Now, I get it. People join different ones based on how they feel. They do. And not all megaphones will last the test of time. For example, look at what's happening on Soilana. These megaphones appear for like 24 hours. Everyone dumps. What about the megaphone of a celebrity? Celebrity, yeah, I'm going to be great. We're going to pump to the moon. The celebrity goes and rugs. Takashi 69's coins down 99%, bro. <laughs> it's like two days. So that's what I'm telling you, man. You, you got to look at this from another perspective. See, it's funny. Pulse chain community is now watered down because we have a lot of balanced people. And everybody in Pulse Chain community, they think because they're a Pulse Chain maxi that they are now balanced. It's funny. And now they see these little smaller communities as cultists, like p is a cult. Um, uh, Tang Gang is a cult. Oh, cults, cults, cults. Right there. It's saying it's, but that, that's good because I know they're fighting and everyone hates each other. Everyone's a rival. The Dex is against this guy because you're competing, man. And you know what? You want that, man. You want that. Friends, you don't. If you own Coke and Pepsi shares, you don't want them to join together. You don't. The competition is fierce because you know if they join, you know if Coke and Pepsi join together and start sucking each other off. Do you want to know what happens? Someone else will come in and take away their uh, their share. You know that'll happen, right? Because these guys they'll eventually get complacent. So you don't want that to happen. So I hope you guys get to see now a different perspective for what it is out here. And I know everyone says, oh, but you can't say this or you can say that or. 
I know, man, they're just words on the internet, right? So one of them says, oh, this thing's about the founder and you can't say this, you know, just what are you, you going to do? What are you going to do about it? You're going to tell them the shush? They just yell louder. You know, that, that's what everybody tried to do with Pulse Chain community and Hex. I, I, look, I'm even telling you now, I've already, I've already, I've made, a year ago, I made all these videos showing you, okay, this is why Hex isn't a better Bitcoin. <laughs> But now I've already warned everyone. I go, guys, as soon as we get the tiniest green candles, I'm going to be spamming it. Hex is a better Bitcoin. I'm going to be spamming it, man. And I, 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 I'm going to look forward to Eric Wall or anyone else clipping me and trying to find me criticizing it on one. Criticizing, no, you're just posting. Right? Me shit posting it on one hand and then saying that. It's just going to be feeding energy, bro. It's just going to be feeding energy because I'm going to be saying... That was then and this is now and the market has chosen it as a better store of value. I made a 30-minute hex video just to tell the hexagons. Every time it goes up, I'm preparing you. We're all going to say it's a better Bitcoin. This is the greatest freaking cult ever. It's 200,000 people. Man. It's, a, it's a loud megaphone. Not even a minus 99% could kill it. But if you want more risk, that's when you venture out into the pulse chain altcoins. It's just beautiful to see how culty everyone is, man. Everyone really freaking hates each other. Uh, I know I understand that it's it's hard from a human perspective to see it because you just want to see people holding hands and doing well. But you got to think about this, man. If if Tangang and Pete I and 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 B Roots and his coins and the Alien guys and the Nine Inch and and the influencer coins and and anyone else I missed, okay, and Gophers, if they aren't aggressive. They will have all their liquidity sucked out by the cabal scum insiders that are coming in from Ethereum and Solana and Tron and everyone else out there. Because if Richard's going to rotate the money in, right, they're going to literally eat everyone's lunch. That's why we need a fortified wall. We need strong defense armies, even though they fight with each other now. They fight with each other now, but if Pulse is going up, trust me, everybody starts holding hands again. But then you actually do have an enemy. It's people coming in. They're going to start launching their own shit coins. They're going to try to steal everything from everyone. They're going to try to scam everybody in the community again. But if everybody knows how to hold the line, which everyone is now, man, no one's abandoning. Not, like, no one's selling the coin. Like, hey, I'm just going to go launch a new coin. Like we, we don't have a culture of that, which is good. But eventually the enemy will come. They'll come across the line and it'll be for the party, the billion dollar rotation, right? If it, if it happens, that's what we're playing for. Man. We're playing for that. I don't know if it's going to happen. But if you're playing for that, you want this strength, man. You want this strength, okay? And everyone's got their own little target market. You can tell the alien coin is for like, you know, probably like Generation XR, Boomer type guys out there. You can tell more mature type of people, you know that. Tangang is like pole opposite in terms of like, it has a lot of people who are like um, anti-establishment, anti-Richard Hart uh, and the the uh, anti-Richard Hart's type of like, Lack of pulse X updates and not delivering on the stuff we're expected. That's what that's what I mean by that part, you know. So there's a part for everywhere. I don't know some people like it rubs them the wrong way, but man, like I, I know what's coming. I know what's coming. Because everyone lives in their own bubble. Everyone thinks your coin's just gonna go up 300 X and it's gonna be easy. No, man. Friends, you even saw what's happening with Landwolf. We make it like we all make a community and then 19 freaking vampire rugs appear. You know what I mean? I, we, I saw it firsthand, so you have to be strong. If you're not strong, you're not going to survive. But the good thing is everyone's surviving, man. But I know, what does survival look like? It looks like people trying to tear each other's throats out. But that's actually strength. That's why I still say, man, 90% call, 10% lottery, because you just don't know which ones, Emma. But um, all together as an ecosystem, it's great. It's great. I'll just tell you now, I don't trust anybody on Tron. I don't trust anybody on Soylana. No one. Maybe... A few things on Solana, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm sure they're good, but I don't trust. There's a lot I don't trust. Bro, you guys are rallying around the cat. <laughs> the 15th cat, by the way. You know what I mean? So you, if you look at all these other communities, you get to see it from my perspective. You get to see that some things you can just you can feel. Oh, these guys are going to pick up the megaphone. They're just going to keep yelling. They don't even care if they're wrong. And there's other stuff. They'll capitulate five seconds. Solana has already lost like 30 or 40% of its pump fund shitcoin JPEG trading um, volume to Tron overnight. There you go. Oh, Justin's cool now. See us. Do you really want that? You don't. Like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you the next one.